Hello everybody! Dan is back and I'm going to be playing a little bit of the Binding of Isaac. It's like the first time I've, wow, it's not the first time I've played this, but it's the first time I've made a video in a very long time. Now you'll have to excuse the quality. Uh, oh, one moment guys, hang on. You'll have to excuse the quality of the video. It's my laptop's ten years old. Um, um, let me move that out of the way. So it's not the best laptop to play this with. Our people's eyes part of shit. Uh, just sort out the sound while I'm here. There we go. So yeah. Anyway, I've played about four hours of this and. I'm thinking of doing a let's play to see how shitty I am. I have unlocked most of the characters. I have beaten Mum a few times in this game, which is why I've got the D6. Uh, it makes it so much easier. But you'll notice very quickly that I'm an absolutely shit <laughs> binding of Isaac player. Especially if you uh, go and watch other people like I do, especially Northern Lion. He's an absolutely amazing player. Uh, I've learned pretty much the best things I can do just by watching like 860 videos of his now so <laughs> yeah so hopefully that will help me in my own series and I'll probably try and see if I can chat with him at some point I'm not gonna pick a pupa's eye um it's all right but I want to see what I get from the boss fight first and see if that's worth a real roll rather than peeper's eye. I'm going to attempt to not take any damage, but on the first floor you can't really get deals with devils. Um, yeah, so all you, you pretty much it's just a pretty fun game to play. I recommend buying it. It doesn't cost a lot. Um, I wouldn't download it for free because it's just not fair on the creators. It's an absolutely amazing game and. Uh, you will be supporting them for the new update, which is coming out at some point. I don't know when, but uh, hopefully it will be soon. I don't really want to use a bomb. I mean, you can do this without it. It just takes a while at the beginning. You have, like, no damage upgrades. Peepers I would have helped a little bit, but it's not something you really control. It just bounces around the screen. Uh, I don't mind picking it up if I have to, but... Uh, like I said, it's not exactly the greatest. Oh shit! There we go. <laughs> not exactly the greatest uh, item you can get. But some people might disagree with me. There's some people might like Peeper's Eye. I personally don't really like it that much. Um, I'd rather get Brimstone, or but that's with Devil Rooms or Poly. Blah, 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 blah. poly you know what is it called? Fuck you yeah, now. Anyway, <laughs> polyphemus, poly whatever. I don't know. I probably got that wrong. I'm gonna have a load of people hate on me. I don't care. Or even squeezy. Squeezy would be good. Tears upgrade. All right, let's have a look what we got. We got lucky April, so that's a shot speed upgrade. So I'm gonna pick this up. Uh, it gives me two diamonds, which I think doubles your money. So I will go and re-roll this uh, item room. I don't really like it. Oh yeah, that's the one. Polyphemus. Big damage upgrade. <laughs> the game likes me. <laughs> right, now let's see if I can find... I'm hoping it's here. Secret room. No. Right, so I will walk into this curse room. I will lose one heart doing so. On the off chance I can pick up items or pills or spirit hearts. Banging. Right, and off we go. Unfortunately, we didn't get any money to make the shop worthwhile on this run. We found no keys. So we'll head, just head down to the next floor. <clears throat> so anyway, I don't know if you guys, like... I don't know, I don't even know if any of you lot watch my videos anymore. I mean, I haven't really put up a video in a long time. That's handy. But I am hoping to get back into it 
at some point. I was my internet was supposed to be back up uh, this month, like the new improved speed, which it still has not been done yet. So, which is a pain in the ass. I am trying to currently figure out if and when that will be done, but as of right now, I don't really know when it's going to happen. But as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know, and then hopefully I can start doing my proper game guides again. God damn it, with these secret rooms. It's probably up there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I was. I've got to buy myself some new hard hardware, which um, I'm saving up for now that I've got my new job, so I am earning a lot more money than I was before, which, you know, after my holiday in September, hopefully I'll have a. Uh, decent hardware that I can use buy myself a new laptop as you can see it's lagging a bit that's normal the more enemies on the screen the slower my computer gets um, which is a pain in the ass but it, oh, fuck. it can help out but obviously just because they move slow doesn't make it any easier because I also move slow oh, shoot the flies the black ones won't come out yet just these ones. I need to find a key. I need a key. I want to get into that item room. Don't hit the space bar. I do not want to use my D6 now. Okay. Right, if I can just hit the guy. Thank you! And a penny. Right, I will go to my boss fight now. May as well. I have the D6 charge, I could use it. So it's Steven. Hopefully we get the damage upgrade on this fight. I don't know if we might get a deal with the devil, because I did take damage on this floor. It wasn't red heart damage, but as long as I don't take damage from the boss, um, I have a better chance of getting a deal with the devil. And if he drops a half, no he won't, he'll drop it. Either little Steve or Steven. Whoop! Steven. <laughs> so it will be a damage upgrade none delished. Oh yes, there we go. Alright, so I will pick that up. Let's check what we got in here. Ooh, the mark for two hearts. Necronomicon is a pile of shit. So I will take that one. And hopefully get into our item room. I know my commentary is a bit dry. Um, I'm just out of practice. <laughs> you know, after a couple of weeks, hopefully I'll be all back to normal again. Everything will be fine. So yeah, as our damage increases, as you know, it's the tears change colour to red. And please let there be a key. No. Right, so unfortunately we are... Oh no, hang on, I can go to my boss trap room. I have one heart. I thought we was done with this room floor then. If I had a key, we could have gone to the shop. Oh, re rolled it. Yes! Meat! <laughs> so, yeah, I don't mind if people just come onto my channel at this moment and hate on my commentary and gameplay. I mean, I am out of practice. I hold my hands up. I'm currently shit. But so would most people if they didn't make a YouTube video properly for about. Five years. <laughs> but I know some of you will be glad that I'm actually doing it again. Um, and I will try and get some of you into my videos that I play on Xbox with mainly. Um, once, obviously, uh, I get back in touch with you guys, whenever it is, which will probably be tonight if you're watching this squeaker. I'll hopefully be online tonight. Oh, and we're done with this floor. So no keys, no bombs, not a lot of money. I'm not going to pop... Two, hang on, there's two diamonds. I'm going to just use it. Yeah, two diamonds was coins. Right, either way, it doesn't matter. Probably a stupid mistake. I should have remembered that from the last time I played this. But there you go. <laughs> I don't see myself getting very far. I was quite lucky to get as far as I have so far to unlock the D6. Pretty much, I just die a lot. I have 
done maybe what 50 tries and you only have to beat mum nine times <laughs> to get the d6 <laughs> so I'm not that great four hours 50 attempts <laughs> nine victories <laughs> So, I ain't that good. Oh, look at that. One bomb. I'm not going to the curse room yet. I want to do the boss fight first. Uh, so I can protect my red hearts. Uh, <coughs> and then we'll check it out. Because you never know, there might be guppy items in there. Damage upgrades. The ability to fly would be a bonus. Um, but other than that... Oh, well, we'll check out our pill. Bad trip. Well, that's just fucking shit. Take these guys out. Uh, fire. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Saved me a bomb. And my aiming is absolutely poor. And more money. And more money. So our shop is probably looking like it could be the best thing. It's bomb, Bob's right in the head. It's okay, it's not better than the D6, whereas the D6 could turn this into a potential health upgrade. But I suppose with it, we could look for another... Nope. So we roll that into the Unicorn Horn, which is even worse. <laughs> I don't like it. All it does is give you invincibility for a couple of seconds, and that is it. Obviously, I get most of my experience with this game by watching other people and going by whatever they use. Um, obviously, so I know if what weapon, what upgrades are good or which ones are bad. You know, they're not all bad. Some of them are alright, but others are just a pile of trash. So I will check out this other room down here just in the hopes that we have a key. I would like to get a key. So I can at least check out an item room. Or a shop. Uh, there's a blood bank. That could be interesting. I don't really have the health and I'm not that skilled of a player. Fuck it. You can get health upgrades but no. The only problem with Polythemus is your shot speed is so slow. But at least with little uh, Steven, our uh, tears still work. I will use another heart on this in the hopes that we'll get a. No. Don't really want to go down to a half red heart because, like I said, I'm not that great at the game. I don't really want to risk it. With only one bomb, I'm not going to look for the se second secret room as I don't know the rules for the second secret room that well. So it would literally just be a pain in the ass for me. Now, I could use a bomb to make this fight go a lot easier because they do join up in the middle. But, um, again, you don't really need to. Polyphemus anyway, it should be alright. As you can see. <laughs> oh, wrong way. There we go. Squeezy! I like squeezy. Some people don't. I like it. It's tears upgrade. And it's two spear and hearts. And for Krampus, so we will get a lump of coal, which is great as it increases damage the longer that your tears are in the air. Let's see if I can not take any red heart damage on this. I don't know if you can re roll lump of coal, but I do like it, so I'm not going to. Oh, I took some damage there. Ah, there we go. So I will go back to that blood bank and play it a little bit more because we've got a half red heart there. Um, I will go to our curse room as well in the hopes that uh, I can 
be an item inside. <coughs> now I could have re-rolled Squeegee, Squeezy into something like more damage, HP, or something like that. But uh, I, I like Squeezy, so I'm, I'm quite happy to pick up Squeezy. And it was a teleport into our devil room by the looks of it. Nope, secret room. Okay. Alright, play the blood bank a little bit. Please pop. No. Okay, so that will be it for this floor. I'm not gonna come back. Just with that other half red heart. I'll just leave that one and hopefully we'll have better luck on the next floor with keys and whatnot. It would have been nice if our secret room was next to the item room as we could have bombed our way in, but uh unfortunately it wasn't. So we're on the caves part two. I still don't know what all their names are, <laughs> so I wouldn't have a clue. That's the self-sacrifice room. I could get a key from there, but it would mean hurting myself to get one, and another blood bank. That's just fucking hilarious. Oh, do you know what? We'll put half heart into you. The money comes in handy. Turrets. Oh, I missed that one, and I missed that. There we go. Oh, come on. Now you can only hit these ones, I don't know, if that's if you don't know, by, um, only when they're up. The red ones, you can just hit them. These ones, you have to wait. And a bomb. That's not handy. I need a key. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Thought I might try lucky. I've done it before. I've only had to touch it once. And it, it paid out. I might get a key from this. Uh, nope. But Liberty Cap is alright. I will take it. Random room effects, if I remember correctly. Now that's 10 cents. Now it's risky. I could get it. Um, I'll, I'll try and get it in a minute. I'm just hoping that we get a key. Ooh. Well, hey. Uh, we're going to look for our, sec our secret room here. This looks like it could be here. Okay then, let's move on. Well, there's no way I'm going to even attempt to get there. Ugh. Pop up. Okay, 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 oh, get up there in the corner quick. Kill him, move across. Just drop a key, oh, finally, thank you. I shouldn't have come in this room. Should have gone, oh, stupid damage. Should have just gone straight to our item room. But I think it'd probably be more beneficial for us to go to the shop as there might be a key in there that we buy if there's nothing else more useful in there. That's alright, friends till the end. That's good in my eyes. Yeah, so what we do, we will go to our shop rather than our item room. Yeah, if there's nothing worthwhile buying in there, we'll, and there's a key, we'll pick up the key. And then go to our item room. Um, anything to make our D6 better would be great. Or map or compass. Uh, Mum's coin per... buy it for half price why not so that is full health that's great what's this one telepose 
Uh, that's took us straight to our curse room, and there's a troll bomb. Alright, so we know there's a telepose, and a full health, and a friends till the end pill. So let's pick up that key. Do we know what this is? Nope, that's a tears up, that's great, and friends till the end, I'll save that. By the spear and heart, and we'll go to our item room. Won't get a re-roll for the boss, but our secret room look looks to me like it could be above the shop and between the room before the boss fight. So that is actually pretty good. I will pick that up. It's a shot and speed upgrade, I think. Yep, speed and shot. No damage, but uh, anything to help Polyphemus fire a lot faster is fantastic in my eyes. So we've got to make our long walk all the way back up. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, I'd love to have the ability to fly right about now. Pick up all these hearts and coins and everything else. So we're fighting tube. It's not the problem. As you can see our flies do double damage of what we do. So Great, considering Polyphemus does a lot of damage anyway. Ah, first health upgrade. Not best one, but it's still a HP upgrade. <laughs> uh, and will we shall... Oh, I didn't go to check our secret room, did I? Fix it. Well, we can use this to uh, get some more money and hopefully bag that blood bag. First, let's have a look in here. Oh, I'll open it. So, only a red heart. That's not great. I was hoping to get a key. One more wave of enemies. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, come on. Yeah, so I really don't really want to be that close. The further away, the more damage I will do. Oh, for Christ's sake. Thank you for that lovely penny. It's just what I wanted. Pay out. Pay out. Fine, I'll come back to you. We could do a relic to generate spirit hearts. Oh, a key, there we go. Right, so we might use, it'd be better if we use this one on the item room as there's a chance that greed could spawn in the shop. <coughs> rock. Two more spirit hearts. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. Hit him. Thank you. Right, so let's think about this. I could check it. I'll check it out. No, oh, if we get any of those, we will die. No, we won't. No, we won't. Yeah, we will. No, we won't. Will we? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know if we'll die if we take them because we don't have three red full hearts. 
Or will it just take the containers and leave me with the half red heart? I don't know. Well, let's test them if it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, that's the, uh, it'll be the end of the video, I suppose. No, it does work. Sweet, now we can fly. I'm not taking that foot, there's no way. I ain't being negative red hearts and uh, just running on spearing hearts, because I will lose. I ain't that good yet. It was hard enough playing as Blue Baby to get the D6, and that is just spearing hearts. hate these guys. Let's go check out our item room. PhD, that means pills are all good. Um, we could take it. Uh, but I would like to see what we get from our boss room. So yeah, our tears are now spectral, thanks to the uh, deal with the devil item we picked up. Which makes it a lot easier. Hangman, oh great, a card that lets us fly. Piss and worthless now. Oh, just hit him. Bombs. So I wonder if. No, just because they're not piercing. Could do with a bit more damage, to be fair. Well, hey, so we could go to our shop, try it out. But I'm thinking it's going to be greed in there. That was stupid. Just dodged right into it. Like I said, not the best player in the world. So there is our boss fight. Loki. Okay. So Loki isn't a hard fight, but uh. Be a bit of a pain in the ass, especially with uh, the bomb flies and the moving spike turret thing. But other than that, just do that pretty much <laughs> if you can. Try not to get hit. I mean, we've already been to our devil room, so it won't pair up. Aha! Brilliant! Extra bit of HP. So yeah, we will re-roll PhD. I don't really want it. We could probably get something a lot better. Um, I will re-roll it, but first I'm going to check for a secret room here. Nope. It might be on the other side. So let's re-roll this. Into, aha, haha, I like this. It allows us to find secret rooms without using bombs. So we will go back and have a look at the other possible location. I will play this for a little bit. You never know. Wait, well, hey. Bonus. <coughs> yep, yeah, there it is. Oh no, you do need bombs for this. That's X-ray glasses, you don't need bombs. This just turns oh that's just I'll play it a little bit might get something useful out of it. I doubt it. Spear and heart or something. You're just not going to pay out, are you? Well, yeah. well, cheers for that. Right, let's look for our shop. If anything, we can buy our key back. So we still need a lot of upgrades, damage, health, ways to uh, generate our own spirit hearts. 
but uh, other than that, we're not doing too bad. I could be doing worse, a lot worse. Ah, oh, there's our second secret room that could hold a eternal heart for us, which is a ha nice health upgrade. in here. Yep, I'll have that. So that's three health grades we picked up. Health upgrades we picked up on this floor. Ah, greed. Crap. I was hoping for an actual item room, but he might drop the theme sale. Which he did not, so great. Thank you for that. Well, I guess we just go down to the next floor. Down to the next floor. Why does it keep. Oh, that would be the effects of Liberty Cap, given us strength. And instantly we found out where our secret room is. There was something crawling on my screen. Three cents. Oh, I could so do with the map and compass right now. Or even money equals power. That would be nice. There's our shot. Why not? Ah ha ha ha, Matt. Thank you. I will pick up that key while I'm here. Don't really care about the bomb. I'm not going to pick that up. So now we know. And our second secret room. going to be inside. Fortune teller. Uh, could have got a better trinket. But no, I just, we'll end up picking one up later anyway. More than likely. <coughs> right, so we need to find our item room, which I'm guessing could be anywhere. On, I'm, I'm thinking it's more or less on the right. Just hit these spiders, that would be great. Just hit the spider, please hit the spider. Thank you. Oh, go away. Yeah, uh, well, there's an arcade. Might be able to get another blood bag upgrade. Hit. This is like the worst aiming I've ever done in my life. I was about to say I can't believe I haven't been hit yet. <laughs> right, so we will play this. Hopefully it pays out quickly. We could gamble for more red hearts if we have to. Keys, I want more red hearts. Oh, gamut 
don't play out. Pl don't pay out with that, please. Thank you. get my heart elsewhere. I don't like gambling. It takes forever. I just do it like doing it. So that is not the location of our item room. Can't go in there until I have full health. Right, so I'm guessing now maybe bottom left. That was stupid on my heart. Move. I didn't get fucking hit there. Another key. It's great. We needed keys at the beginning and now we're getting nothing but keys. the sun card effect in that room which did tell us that the item room is at the bottom of this walkway, the boss room is at the bottom left and that there is a curse room on the top left. is definitely being re-rolled and I will take that and put it back down and we could get another re-roll which we could do now no we can't Dan popped it up accidentally went into the mum fight we will not be going back out to pick up that item this is what I get for not paying attention to what I'm doing <laughs> Fight quickly before I get killed by mom. Oh, that was stupid. One more. Yep, there we go. And we got a speed upgrade. Take it as I can't re roll it. I have no choice in taking it. Money useless as there's no more shops. No more item rooms. And if we even get hit once, that is game over, as enemies do one full red heart damage now. <laughs> and with only one red heart to help us, we are pretty much buggered. 
Unless I just stand here and let them come to me and hopefully one of them drops a red heart. definitely a lot safer than being out there. <laughs> Whoa, yes. I would love more damage right about now and a lot more health just so I could one hit these guys. Heal me! What are you, Temperance? Yeah, because I need that. But it might pay out with something useful. No, just money. Right, I know there's nothing down there. We'll go straight to our boss fight. Oh, this is a pretty easy boss fight, to be fair. Nothing special. Quite straightforward. Just die, should be dead soon. Yep, there we go. And Cuba meat is fantastic. And down to the next floor. So it is letting us. Loop. I did take some stupid damage there because I didn't move properly. One up. I will take that. Right, so we know where our boss room is now. So that little foot shape of the map. So I can't believe we didn't get hit. <laughs> oh, why aren't I dodging very well, Dan? Come on, you can play better than this. Fuck's sake, man. One should be dead pretty quickly. Just keep an eye on where he's shooting them. And start shooting him now. Okay. I'd love his card. Pop it now. And. Shouldn't have difficulty with a mum with the heart fight, but I'll just get rid of this. I don't need it. But um, it might take a while. Our damage isn't that great. Uh, we only have one bomb. So it might take a while. We'll mean we'll have to go through quite a few of these guys. Oh, 
this is taking forever. Sure. Zombros. Fantastic, you didn't keep popping, turning yourself around. Wonder if you can do some damage with a cube of meat. Lies, he's nothing. He's quite easy. He should be dead. Reasonably fast. Chub. <laughs> Soon. We can just get Mum down to that last bit of health where she stops disappearing. That'd be great. Up oh, there we go. And, uh, just deal with the other enemies. She might kill them on her own. And we'll just stand here, avoiding her tears, and just. There we are, and we will go up to the cathedral. Right, where are we going? I'm guessing right. <laughs> these near the wall. No. It's hoping to use his explosions. I'll sod it. Oh, the joys of free cents. <laughs> and I don't know why I done that. Yeah, I really don't know if we're going to be able to beat Isaac on this run. But if we do, my god, I am lucky. don't have the damage or the protection or the health to do it. So I honestly don't think we'll be able to do it. thought I'd be safe there. Alright, so let's go up. Nope, that is not the way to our boss room. And I thought we'd be safe there. Ah! Thank God for the one up. Right, so we know not to go that way. Let's just go left. Left, 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 left. Hopefully Liberty Cap gives us the right cards. We oh. Instantly see... Uh, where we need to go. Oh, I 
I wish I could stop taking damage. Twenty-two keys, cause why else would we need twenty-two keys? That is not the way to go. Please be a full health. No, friends till the end. Well, that made that room a lot easier. Looks like our boss room is up. It's better if we stand further back, but I have a habit of just wanting to get close. Oh, laggy, laggy, laggy. And our boss fight is just over there. Let's get you trapped into your little laser. And I think that is a tinted rock just there. Tinted rock just over on the right. So we should be finished with this fight pretty soon. It's not a hard. Uh, mini boss. Just a pain in the ass. We will use our last bomb here. There we go, that was perfect. Right, it's us for us. I mean, because of our slow rate of fire, does mean that Isaac isn't going to be firing as many shots at us, but with only one cube of meat to defend ourselves and one spear and heart, we are not in the best position considering our damage is not great. I could run in and drop a bomb which might help out a little bit. Um, doubt it. We'll just see how it goes. We're doing alright. I haven't taken any damage yet. Just bonus. Almost did just there. We're not doing extremely poor damage but we're not doing great damage right now he's in his second stage just keep an eye out for those homing shots that he fires he should be good get him into his third stage and that would be fan effing tastic Got to keep an eye out for the uh, light beams of light. Let's see if we can take it. Oop. Almost took damage there. I do not know how I dodged it. Oh. Really don't want to die here. Try and get rid of these, a few of these angel fetuses. Ain't not angels, just the angels. These aren't the fetus versions. Oh, sod it, just focus on Isaac. Ah! Oh no, if we get hit just once more, we are gone. Gone, I tell you. Game over. Yeah, knew it. Knew it. Saw it come in. Anyway, didn't quite do it. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I promise that my gameplay will get better. And my commentary will get better too. Anyway, take care, guys.
see you later